All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. Today, I wanted to go over this hammer and review it. I bought this hammer because I believed in it and I thought I was going to like it, um, but I'll get to that in a little bit. So this is the hammer that I'm used to. I'm gonna be comparing it to this hammer today because they're both Kleins. Um, so as you can see right here, right off the bat, um, the handle on this one is a little bit flatter, which is actually nice. Um, and the tip of the hammer is a little bit longer. And as you can see, the handle is longer as well. The neck of the hammer is a little bit uh, wider. So three things I don't like about this hammer is how far the head is from the handle, which makes it really awkward to hit stuff. I haven't even hit anything because I don't need to because I already know I'm not gonna like it. I also don't like that the tip of the hammer is longer right here. Um, that is one of the contributing factors. The neck of the hammer length right here is the third factor that I don't like. The things that I do love about this hammer, the grip is really amazing. Uh, right here, it's a really nice grip. The difference on the bottom, like when I want to shove wires into a box or something like that, I really like to use the bottom of this. If I was to use the bottom of this hammer right here, I'm pretty sure it would scratch up and get all dinged up. But all the materials in this hammer are great. I really wish that they made this specific hammer with this type of material. If this was exactly like this hammer, I would love it so much. All they would need to do is change the head back a little bit smaller. Um, they could technically leave the, the neck of the hammer this length, but a little bit smaller would have been nice. And if they just raised up the, the grip right there, I would rock this for the rest of my life. Really nice hammer, really great materials. I do like this material better than the fiberglass. This kind of does tend to get chips in it and stuff. And um, not that I've ever gotten uh, like a fiberglass cut from it, but this is um, way nicer and I would rather have this um, less likely to hurt you um, and also just look super cool with the different colors and stuff like that. So this is my review on the hammer. If you are interested in getting one, make sure to check them out. I bought these myself. This is not sponsored, obviously, otherwise I would keep it. Um, but anyways, I bought this second hammer um, as you can see here, brand new, instead of um, these ones right here. Hopefully this helped you out. Um, it might be different for you. Like I said, it is my personal preference here. This is what I have been used to for the last five to seven years. So changing that up in any variety is gonna be, feel weird, but I did have the uh, hammer just like this one before with the longer neck like this, and I ended up selling it to my coworker to buy the shorter head because I like that better. Um, it's just, the shorter the head, the easier it is to use, and also you can get into tighter spaces, so it's nice. Um, and they do have this cool little uh, staple remover right here, which I'm not sure if, how long that would actually last. I don't know if the, these tips would break off, but it is a cool feature if that is something you're interested in. Um, you just put the staple right between those and then pull up on it. So anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. This is my thoughts on it. Um, I was really excited to get this, but um, now I'm not anymore. Um, I love the way everything looks though, like I said, and it's great materials, great Klein craftsmanship is always nice. Steel right there, nice and polished on their grinders, as you know, Klein does. So really great hammer, but just the one not for me. It is a little bit heavier as well. This is an 18 ounce. This is a 16 ounce, I believe. All right, guys, so one last thing I did want to mention is the side of the hammer. On my other hammer with the blue painted head, as you remember, it is a flat surface, but this surface does have little indents on it, so it could uh, make uneven surfaces while hitting a nail sideways. So just one thing to consider um, if that is going to persuade you not to buy this hammer. Hopefully that helped you out. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, as always. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Stay tuned. Big plans for this year. Uh, God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.